With China long controlling 70 to 90 percent of rare earth element processing, the United States now accelerates efforts to build a full domestic rare earth supply chain from mine to magnet to safeguard national security and advanced manufacturing. Rare earth ores, such as bastnasite, monazite, and ion adsorption clays, typically contain less than 10% rare earth oxides or REOs and must be upgraded to approximately 60% concentration through grinding, magnetic, electrostatic, and flotation processes, followed by acid treatment and roasting to produce high REO concentrate. Strategically, the United States remains disadvantaged. Domestic capacity to process and refine REEs into end-use components, especially magnets, is almost nil, and scaling it would take a decade or more, even with favorable trade conditions. Meanwhile, China continues to dominate processing globally with about 70% of mining and up to 90% of processing capacity. In response, the Department of Defense is injecting hundreds of millions into domestic infrastructure. Since 2020, it has allocated over $439 million to support U.S. separation refining, and magnet manufacturing capabilities. A recent Pentagon MP materials deal includes a $400 million equity investment, a 15-year price floor for neodymium praseodymium to stimulate production, and a $150 million loan to expand heavy REE processing at Mountain Pass MP materials. The operator of the Mountain Pass mine, the only active rare earth mine in the U.S., has responded rapidly. It is targeting operations by 2028, the 10X facility, expanding magnet production in Texas and refining neodymium praseodymium domestically. A new supply deal with Apple injects $500 million to support magnet production and recycling at Mountain Pass and Texas sites, starting shipments by 2027. Shares of MP materials surged 40 to 60% following these announcements. Separately, USA Rare Earth is advancing a new magnet facility in Stillwater, Oklahoma, aiming to launch as early as 2026 with scalable capacity from 600 to 5,000 metric tons annually and projected revenues of $800 million. The previous and current U.S. administration's policies converge on the need to reduce U.S. reliance on Chinese-dominated rare earth supply chains. Tariff actions export restrictions, and a U.S.-China trade framework negotiated in June 2025 highlight both the urgency and fragility of global REE flows. For Skillings.net, author Tungsten.